Okay, uh, welcome to this series of videos. This is a brief introduction into what these videos are for. Okay, so our objectives for this series of videos. So we're going to talk about what is the point of these presentation. Why have I gone through the process of making them? How to use them? What different things will appear on screen? Um, who they're for as well. So the final thing we'll talk about is um, who they're for. Okay, so start off with some useful links. And um, so one of the things that you'll see in all of these presentations is one of the first slides comes up is useful links. And they are generally going to be YouTube videos for you guys to watch. On this one um, are a series of YouTube channels, the generic channels, gem most of the place where I've gotten from. So the ones I would suggest that are definitely really worthwhile looking for are Doodle Science, loads of stuff on Doodle Science. Um, this one, um, Physics Girl, she is just starting a new course on physics um, that is going to be aimed more at, well, American high schools, um, so basically similar age range to you guys. Um, so they start with motion, which is year 11, she will get onto some electricity. Um, this chat, Physics Online, brilliant set of videos, GCSE that are up there, generic. Most of them probably aim more at AQA and some English boards, but the physics doesn't change. Um, he's also a very useful follow on things like uh, Twitter as well. He answers loads of questions. And Science Shorts, very similar to Doodle Science. They break down topics into quite short, you know, probably 10, 12 minute videos tops. Um, and fantastic resource. Science Shorts also has a sister channel called Marlesbury Science or Marlesbury Science um, that do a lot of the specified practicals okay so what are these presentations then what's their purpose they're designed as revision material for year 10 GCSE okay we're aiming for both separate and double award physics so there's going to be nine of them um, the first five are for the double award and the final um, four then are for the separate science they're meant for revision, for filling in any missing gaps due to absences really. They're not probably designed for first teaching, they probably don't go into enough depth, don't give enough practice for first teaching. Um, I hope they contain nearly all the knowledge that you need for this course, um, but also they've got some exam questions uh, on the end for you to practice. As we've already seen, we've talked about the YouTube links, and what you will also notice is that I will put these as videos on um, YouTube um, with all the recordings and things like this. You will notice that in every screen around me there is a TV that is shown where um, the video will be for you to click and for it to play. Okay, so on to the how to use them then. Um, so, like I said, we've already said about the use of videos, good thing to watch. We've said about the TV screen where I will be. Um, so that gives you an idea where to click to get the video or where to ignore the video from. Um, yeah, use them to make notes, my map, enhance your learning, etc, etc. Now, um, if you are part of Hun High, um, you will have access to the raw PowerPoint, so you can do this as a traditional PowerPoint presentation. Um, like I said in the previous slide, they will also be on YouTube though. Um, so if there are anything, there's clickable links on the, YouTube, on the PowerPoint, um, I will make sure that there is a, a link to that in the description below. Okay, so the contents. Like I said, we're going to have nine of these. The first five are down this side with these titles. Are for both those doing double award and separate science. Whereas these four, then, that's just the separate science topics. Um, they're going to be numbered in that order um, and the titles will match what is on the specification. Okay, so the last two slides on any um, of these presentations will always look like this. If you are watching the YouTube video, you'll need to look for the link in the description below to the PDF that has these exam questions on. If you're using the PowerPoint, if you then stop viewing the PowerPoint and click on this image, the uh, Adobe PDF should load up um, and you can get the questions that way. And then the final slide will always be a review of me going over those questions. Um, rather than submit a mark scheme, I thought this is probably a better way of doing it 
um, because at least you get to see some thinking um, and a little bit of explanation of what the Marx scheme means. Okay, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, well done for making it through right the way to the end as well. Um, if you liked it, click like. Uh, if you've got any comments about stuff that's missing, any improvements, anything you didn't understand, leave them uh, in the block in the comments below. Um, if you look around me, there should now be the playlist for all of these videos, um, along with YouTube's uh, algorithm recommended one of our other videos that you should uh, go and watch. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, follow us on Twitter, link in the description, um, just to see the other sort of stuff that we produce.